hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so it's been a while since i posted my last video but with all the celebrations and the festivities going on everybody was in a holiday spirit so was i but I i'm finally here with 10 fragrances for the fall season and uh, 10 fragrances definitely it's going to be a long video please keep watched watching till the end and i don't i won't get super chatty and i'll get right down to the video so in number 10 position i have with me mark jacobs decadence i have a separate video of its unboxing and the first reaction that i had so definitely i love the packaging and if i have a very soft so soft spot in my heart for extremely cute and unique packaging so this definitely caught my eyes when i saw this and but the packaging is not the only thing that stands out in this perfume the presence of many unique ingredients too stands out one of which is vetiver and it's beautiful balance with the floral notes and then there is a uh, juicy plum in it italian plums in it which is also something very extraordinary because you don't hear it all the time so it's very different from the other designer fragrances that you will find and uh, if you take a sniff you will know that this is definitely like a celebration of womanhood in my opinion this is something for those who love to be a woman who enjoy being a woman who are very proud and confident of being women themselves and they keep no regrets in life absolutely none they are extremely confident extremely bold extremely strong willed and this is their perform they kind of celebrate being a woman every day so definitely in number 9 position i have one of my all time favorites this is a powerhouse as far as fragrances are concerned and the only reason that i have placed it in number nine position is that i want to give other fragrances a little place as well this little guy has hogged a lot of limelight in my collection this is alien by mugler now this is a beautiful blend of indian jasmine white amber and a lot of woody notes but there is something about this perfume that needs to be told right at the onset which is if you are going out for the whole day if you are going out for longer hours you can trust this perfume to keep you company for as long as 8 hours 9 hours or even 12 hours my clothes keep smelling overnight but maybe not on my skin and this is one of the most heavy siage longevity wise i mean it's a powerhouse of a perfume that i have not come across very often not very often so definitely very very dependable very very trustworthy as far as your fragrance friends friend is concerned the next fragrance is almost like screaming i'm gourmand juicy couture's sorry viva la juicy's gold couture i can't tell you that this perfume is so seductive warm and at the same time delectable you would almost i almost want to eat it it has screaming you know that the beautiful caramel flavor along with vanilla but then that is beautifully blended with some amazing floral notes sandalwood honeysuckle this is so incredible you know it's amazing and it's got a very decent longevity almost like 6 hours minimum on my skin which is why it makes it this perf makes this perfume very very dependable and the warmth and the richness of the perfume is definitely not very summery definitely not very it, this will not do very good in a uh, hot summer on a hot summer evening definitely not the day but not even on a hot summer evening this is the perfect october november is the perfect time for a fragrance 
as rich, beautiful as this. This is so beautiful, amazing fragrance. It kind of builds up on its uh, intoxicating and addictive qualities, you know, and you kind of start liking it more and more. Wow. And the richness of the caramel and the vanilla and the sandalwood is so beautifully and uh, you know, freshly uh, blended with uh, like the floral notes that there's such a beautiful balance that's created that makes this fragrance very, very special. The next fragrance, okay, I've lost my count. That was 10, 9, 8. So this is number 7 coming up. In now number 7 position, I have a fragrance that is, that was a blind buy. I knew nothing about the company. I knew even less about the fragrance, but uh, I had heard that this is a this is definitely a cheapy. But when I say cheapy, I don't like the word cheapy because sometimes good perfumes come at very very reasonable rates, and that should be respected. When you have a genuinely good perfume uh, delivered to you at a very very affordable and reasonable price it should be respected rather than called a cheapy which is why i avoid that word um, but i was told that this is like a copy of tom ford's noir de noir now I, when i bought it i actually liked it even more than i liked noir de noir so i'll have to go for another carded sample maybe of noir de noir maybe that way when i'm using these two simultaneously i could compare them and say better about things about them in a more objective manner but for now this is this is by arma flub de nuit intense for women and this bottle is nice it's a kind of a stone set cap but it's the fragrance inside that deserves special mention the top notes of this is geranium, rose and saffron. There's a spicy and floral uh, middle notes ranging with, uh, with nutmeg, pepper and caraway along with violet. The base notes comprise of amber, patchouli, agar wood and vanilla. This fragrance has a very good longevity on my skin. The amber and the patchouli and the sandalwood is very very clear and the spices are extremely clear and that floral uh, notes from the violet is also coming through. Really, it, I like fragrances that actually smell, it's easy to smell the notes as we read them or as we find out more about them because um, obviously I'm no expert in that but when I uh, there are a few fragrances in my collection when I put them to my nose I can actually okay yeah the spiciness the spices the amber the patchouli it's quite clear it's beautiful and this has a very good longevity this would be perfect for clubbing for a summer night out for uh, I think this is this is a perfume that you can wear around the year but yes, as we head, we are heading towards the colder season because there is oud. There is oud in it. There is agar wood in it. So definitely for the winters and for the month of November, this would be perfect. But there, the fragrance is quite light. It's not intensely dense or, you know, very, very intense. So I think I could carry this off during the summer months also, depending on the occasions because we have in India certain occasions like weddings and other parties where we need to wear heavy perfumes so definitely the perfume coming up in the sixth position is easily easily one of my all-time favorites and also one of the toppers in my opinion any other day in any other list maybe a list of three or four or five where i have less um, competition going on this can be the number one this is an amazing favorite of mine this is girl of now from elisa now you see this fragrance i use it so judiciously i use very use it very carefully 
one of the reasons i need don't need to overuse it or over spray it is that it has got an amazing longevity and with one or two sprays or maximum of four sprays that i usually do one two three four like that so i don't need to over spray it at all coming to the notes uh, we have pistachio pear mandarin orange blossom and the base notes are comprised of almond patchouli and tonka bean so what is it that we can actually smell patchouli definitely tonka bean of course it's it's one of uh, you know it has to be uh, this is an essentially winter fragrance this is this has november december written all over it this is like a cozy and a very dignified classic yet a very cozy romantic so this can this is quite a versatile perfume in my opinion because you can wear it for a date night you can wear it to a wedding indian wedding scenario that is you can wear it for a party or a large gathering where you will definitely stand out and you can also wear it for a romantic cozy situation very private party kind of pri private get together kind of situation as well because of its its character because of its fragrance which is which is very very um, you know dignified sophisticated very mature woman and this is definitely not a teenager's perfume let me tell you that from the from the beginning because um, and look at that bottle i just love that bottle that enamel design over here this is the blue one i keep saying that this is not the gold one this is a blue one i have that and i love this fragrance oh my god this is so 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 beautiful even if you don't have it or you just go to your nearest store and take a sniff of this and i'm sure you will love it at some point of time buy it also because this is one of those fragrances which you can have one fragrance if you want to keep one fragrance for yourself it should be this one because this is beautiful and so is the dry down it the initial um projection and then the dry down is also amazing amazing fragrance what i find um, unique about this is the use of pistachio in its uh, composition which is not something that you will find regularly among fragrances so girl of now number 6 position okay competition is definitely getting very very tight right now and uh, okay the big boys and the big brands are coming so the next fragrance i have lined up at number 1 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 number 5 position is narciso rodriguez um for her this is the eau de toilette i have very few eau de toilettes in my collection i am like i i crave for eau de perfumes i don't know it's it's a it's a childish thing i have for the eau de perfumes i just feel they are stronger and they last have a better longevity this is something i had for men for many years now this is something i have for many years now and i don't think it will change but this fragrance definitely changed there are a few eau de toilettes in my uh, in my kitty and uh, yes uh, some of them are so amazing that they have changed my opinion and this is one of them i have the pink one also which is the eau de parfum of this uh, fragrance but this is a fragrance that i find extremely seductive extremely appealing and very very wintry Ugh, it's musk 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 all the way it's like musk is the central and the single most um focus of this fragrance the single point of attraction of this perfume is musk everything around else all the floral notes all everything else surrounding it is uh, secondary this is like musk hmm <laughs> it's addictive you know it's really addictive you want to keep on smelling it amazing fragrance you might find that okay is this leaning a little towards men's fragrances no this has uh, sandalwood this has patchouli this has orange blossom and it's the orange blossom it's the floral notes and the 
they beautifully blend with the mask you know to give it that balance otherwise the mask would have really kind could have ruined this fragrance it's a beautiful blend of the floral notes that make this fragrance so appealing so seductive so romantic i don't know this is the perfect date night fragrance for November, October, November, December. Of course, this is going to come back in my winter list as well, winter list uh, perfumes as well. There are quite a few fragrances that will come back, um, but this is definitely coming back. Number five position, Narciso Rodriguez for her. If you are at the mall or at the stores, Sephora, anywhere, shop or stop, give it a sniff. Don't buy it on my recommendation. If you do, do let me know. I deserve to know if you bought this on my recommendation but uh, if you even if you don't buy it give this a sniff I think it deserves that uh, recognition beautiful fragrance okay now I'm getting excited because now um, coming up at I have four fragrances left it's down to the top four now and coming up uh, at number four position is I think um, it's been two years that I got this fragrance. This is Dior Addict. It's been two years that I got this fragrance and ever since I've been in love with it. Wow, the sandalwood. You know, whenever a perfume has vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli or uh, vanilla and sandalwood along with tonka bean, I find the fragrance kind of turns into this creaminess you know this creamy wonderland you know of of, uh, of all the notes that come in come with it because this fragrance also has some uh, beautiful oriental notes like uh, tropical mandarin leaf and uh, juicy blackberry orange blossom night blooming cereus and jasmine along with a little bit of rose as well so but this beautiful creaminess this this feels like it's you know it's like gliding away and that comes with the presence of vanilla that comes with the presence of the tonka bean that comes with the vanilla presence of sandalwood at the base notes dior addict is easily one of my favorites all-time favorites because this is a perfume i feel very comfortable with um this has amazing longevity, amazing longevity. This um, can go for, in my opinion, this can go with both nighttime and daytime uh, situations. Um, I would prefer to wear this in the fall and winter time, but if I had to wear it during the summers, which I would av avoid, especially during the hot and humid days of the summer months, but uh, if the occasion demanded that you wear a heavy intense kind of a perfume this could go well yes of absolutely so this is that you know it's the versatility of this fragrance that easily makes it one of my top favorite perfumes of all times dear addict so the competition is coming down to big names right now coming up at number three position is a very tiny um, travel size bottle of Christian Dior's Jador. I have the big bottle but that's almost done so I did not want to show an empty bottle which is why I have the travel size bottle which is equally which is completely full oh, this is so refreshing I hate to call this just a winter or fall no 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 this can go this is like round the year i use it very seldom this is more like my mom's scent mom's perfume collection so this is mostly from there but i have uh, used it in the past okay so let me read out the notes the top notes so jador has melon peach pear magnolia bergamot and mandarin orange the heart The middle notes comprise of tuberose, orchid, lily of the valley, rose, violet, jasmine, plum and freesia. 
that's a lot of floral work going on there lot of floral notes the base notes yes you can get the earthy musk vanilla blackberry and cedar so you can see the base is also doing a lot of magical work cedar and blackberry along with vanilla and earthy musk the sillage of this perfume is not very heavy but longevity is phenomenal phenomenal longevity and you don't need to overspray uh, this has got you can just like spray the regular way in the way that I do one two three four kind of thing and that will do you don't need to over spray and the longevity is re really really commendable for this perfume in my opinion Jador never needs needed an introduction this is like an institution in itself and uh, it's so funny I'm holding the travel size thing I'll just keep it down Jador, in my opinion, is one of the most classiest, most elegant and sophisticated, mature fragrance. But yes, even if you're in your 20s, um, you can you think you can carry it off. It will be a challenge for you to carry it out, carry it off, uh, you know, elegantly. But if you're very young, but if you have the maturity and you can carry it off, nothing like it because this is. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of the best perfumes um, that we know of. Okay, now we come to the number one spot and the number two spot. Well, the only reason that I have this fragrance in number one spot, whereas my uh, bigger favorite of mine is in the number two spot, is the issue of longevity. And that the number one position fragrance is definitely like a, like a big boss of fragrance of the fragrance family coming up in my number two position is my this is an all-time favorite with me this is like this is me if I had to if I was given a choice of keeping one fragrance for the rest of my life like uh, and that would be a signature scent or any other list of signature scents uh, that is ever made this will be there not only there this will be probably be in the top three position so either one or two or three not less than that so this is um, one of my hot favorites <laughs> this is Coco um, or a performed by Chanel now You know, whenever I like a perfume beyond beyond all limits, I find that the base notes of that perfume has vanilla, has sandalwood, has patchouli and tonka bean. I don't know. This is like a, like a lethal combination and the presence of tonka bean, vanilla, sandalwood, um, you know, <laughs> patchouli is like a winning combination. And uh, of course, there are lots of floral notes in Coco in Coco Chanel. Okay, the opening notes definitely start with uh, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, mandarin orange, coriander, and peach. Coriander. Yeah, I know it sounds a little unusual, but yes, the middle notes comprise of orange blossom, rose. Mimosa, clover, and cloves, and of course, as I told you, the the base notes comprise of vanilla, amber, sandalwood, and tonka bean, which is like um, all my favorite fragrances. Either they have this vanilla, patchouli, amber, tonka bean, or uh, vanilla, patchouli, um, sandalwood, or the vanilla, sandalwood, tonka bean. You know. Either, they keep on shifting either this or that and I find they are always my favorite they're like a winning combination Coco Chanel has everything going for it it has good longevity it has a good projection it has everything that you can love 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 about this fragrance there's nothing that you would want to say usually there are lots of people who say no Chanel I'm not a Chanel fan um, no, not Chanel. I'm not a Chanel number five girl, or uh, Chanel is very 
cliche everybody's wearing Chanel there's nothing uh, different about it but you know this is a fragrance that you can never go wrong with this is a fragrance that I could wear in the month of March I could wear in the month of August I could wear in the month of December January or November or even September and July August every time <laughs> especially evening and not in the daytime maybe or yes of course in November I could wear this in the mornings and daytime as well this is not a perfume that has that is to be wasted this is in my opinion one of the most sophisticated dignified mature fragrances and you use it wisely you use it with respect that's one of my favorites um, all-time favorites Coco Chanel from the house of Chanel okay we have come to the number one the numero uno of my fall winter no my fall fragrance list and I don't think you can guess this fragrance um, especially by looking at the bottle because this fragrance is expensive very 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 expensive and there's no way that I wanted to buy a fragrance of this kind of uh, uh, of this price range so I bought the decant which was available online this is Christian Dior's private line this is called Fev Delicious I don't know if you can see this uh, the Fev Delicious uh, this is a 30 ml decant I don't know it doesn't matter I'm telling you this beautiful bottle I like the clean lines but I like the fragrance more see I told you that I like Coco Chanel more but then this fragrance came to me very powdery it's extremely powdery this is maybe you know uh, not just maybe this is definitely this is a very mature fragrance this is this would be um, suitable for anyone over above the age of 30 in my opinion but please don't let me tell you how old you should be to enjoy a fragrance not me not anybody should tell you that if you are 15 if you think you can carry this fragrance go ahead enjoy your fragrance that's what they are for to make you feel um, joyous to make you feel in a you know celebratory mood that's the, to make you feel happy that's the only reason we enjoy fragrances and I don't know if I should say this but this is so powdery uh, you know this reminds me of a time uh, with my grandmother I used to spend uh, holidays with my grandmother and every day evening especially during the summer months she used to take a shower and after the, that she used to kind of smear herself with talcum powder just to keep herself fresh and you know fragrant like that in the evenings and this fragrance there's this amazing you know the blend of uh, there's this amazing blend of the tonka bean and the cacao pods and the cocoa and the praline and everything going again giving it that smell it reminds me so much of my grandmother I am almost nostalgic right now this reminds me of my grandmother and uh, but that's not to say this is a grandma-ish type of a fragrance but you need to have a very um, grounded personality you, you need to be a very a beauty with brains to be able to enjoy and carry off this fragrance really speaking this is not for everyone you really need to be a beauty with brains so let me quickly take you through the fragrance notes because this is a relatively new addition to my uh, fragrance uh, collection so I'm not yet I'm still getting used to the notes so this has tonka bean this has caramel this is cocoa cocoa this has proline this is benzoin this is vanilla this has bergamot this has lavender mint sandalwood and cacao so I think all that makes a lethal uh, portion actually the juice is extremely long lasting the fact that this is not your regular Christian Dior so I don't think I really stressed on that this is the Dior private line 
fed till this year is part of I think 16 or 18 private line blends which is extremely long lasting and I will have a separate video on some of my decans because I have a few other decans to talk about of this particular line itself and they are all amazing so keep watching and I will soon come up with the decans because decans in my opinion are a very prudent way to buy perfumes so that kind of wraps up my list for the fall fragrances I hope you enjoyed the collection and uh, if you want to watch more please leave your comments below please subscribe to my channel and keep watching till I see you next time it's bye from my end and I will see you soon